Hello everybody, Bella Rosa here for another episode of My Pagan Pal Crafts and Such, the channel where you can find pagan related crafts and such, and I know for a lot of you it's still cold outside, especially those of you in America who have suffered the effect of the storm Stella, including myself, but it's bound to warm up eventually, and with Ostara fast approaching, I thought some spring equinox decorations were in order, so here it is, an Ostara broom to hang up on your wall, check it out. To get started on your Ostara broom, you'll need a broom, of course, some wood chips, and alphabet stickers, as well as spring decorations of your choosing. Your wood burner tool is definitely the star of this project. All other items are listed in the description box below. Now I'm upcycling a fall broom by removing all evidence of autumn just by ripping them off. Pretty straightforward and not too much of a hassle. Next, I lined up all of my pastel ribbons and then simply knotting them all together. I left a ton of slack for the ribbon before cutting them off at the other end. And then after that, it was just a matter of hot gluing the ribbons to the broom and wrapping them around the handle, making sure I glued them down in the back with every turn to keep them in place. Once I reached the bottom of the handle, I set it aside to make room for the wood burning. I am not an experienced wood burner, so I just follow the directions. I used the alphabet stickers as a guide to make my letters. I took a pastel stick, rubbed it on the wrong side of the sticker, and placed it on the wood chip. I pressed the sticker with the blunt side of my pencil, removed it, revealing an impression for me to follow along while wood burning. Now to spice things up a bit, I made one of the A's a pentacle. For this part, I used a cap to a travel bottle that fit on my wood chip, some ribbon, a marker, and a ruler. I wrapped the ribbon around the bottle cap and marked the end. Then I cut on the end, leaving me with a piece of ribbon that is the circumference of the circle. I used the metric side of my ruler to measure it, divided that number by 5, marked the number on my ribbon equally, giving me the location of where all my points meet. I transferred those markings to my battle cap, traced them onto my wood chip, and then connected the dots with my ruler. Using this technique was easy for me and the pentacle came out pretty good looking. Once the lettering was complete, I tied my ribbons in a bow before adding the decorations. I first glued down the letters onto the handle, then I took some moss and glued it down into the nest before gluing the nest onto the broom. I added these plastic eggs for fertility, and then I also decided to add a bird to symbolize the coming of spring and the story of Lepus. I also stuck in some butterflies to further symbolize this time of new life and renewal. I used a lot of greenery like false leaves and grass to show the earth coming to life once more. And right in the middle of all that, I decided to sketch out a rabbit, the most iconic symbol of Ostara. It took me a while to get it right, but after some patience and a little bit of effort, my final piece looked like an actual rabbit. A few blossoms here and there really help to bring the whole thing together. Celebrate the changing of the seasons with your very own Ostara broom. It has all the little things we start to see as the wheel of the year turns once more and we welcome a change of pace in our lives. I had a lot of fun using the wood burning tool and I hope you do too. Happy Spring Equinox everyone!
If you like what you saw here today and you want to be kept up to date on the latest episodes, then subscribe now, become a Pagan Pal, like up this video, and I'll see you next time for another episode of My Pagan Pal Crafts and Such. Bye!